Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 18 player rating prediction where today we have got Borussia Dortmund. I think we're going to do one more of these and that is going to be Monaco that we're going to be doing on, I think it's Friday we're going to be doing it. So make sure you do leave a like if you want to see more and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well if you are finding these useful. But let's go into the first player with Berkey. That is the goalkeeper from Borussia Dortmund. Uh, kind of established himself as the number one, new number one for Borussia Dortmund. Didn't have a great season, did play 42 games and only managed to get 11 clean sheets, which is not amazing, but it's not terrible, so I think he will stay at the same rating. Whereas Weidenfeller, on the other hand, could be said uh, didn't have a good season because he only played 14 games and only kept one clean sheet in those 14 games. Kind of got edged out from uh, obviously being Borussia Dortmund's number one. And I think he's going to go down to a 76. We've then got Lucas Piszczek, uh, a really good right back. Really do like watching this guy. I've seen him play quite a lot looks like a very solid reliable uh, right back you know does obviously a really good job for Dortmund I think he's gonna go up to an 83 had a good season potentially one of the best seasons if not the best season he's had at Borussia Dortmund 53 games six goals and two assists I think he's worthy of a one-point upgrade we've then got Marcel Schmelzer on the other side the left back uh, 80 rated uh, I think he's gonna stay as an 80 rated 42 games one goal and three assists Schmelzer had a decent season uh, didn't do anything too spectacular to I think deserve an upgrade and it's worth an upgrade um, obviously had a, had a routinely good season for Dortmund. On the other hand, Rafael Guerrero, first season at Borussia Dortmund. I think he moved from Lorient last summer. Currently a 78 rated left back, was a 75 rated left back. Got a January upgrade, I think, to a 76, uh, to a 78 rated left back. And I think he's going to go up to 79. However, I do think he's going to get position change to a left midfield. Um, obviously, his team of the season card was a left midfielder, which I think indicates that probably his starting card next year will be a left midfielder. But even if that was the case, he would make for a very good left mid and had a very good first season. So then got Eric Derman of a left back, obviously behind uh, Guerrero and Schmelz, who didn't get too much opportunities. 23 games, no goals and three assists, so I believe he will stay as the same rating. We've then got Socrates, he's kind of the lead defender that Dortmund have now, obviously with them losing Hummels last summer to Bayern Munich. Socrates has kind of stepped up and is kind of now Borussia Dortmund's number one centre-back, and he really did take that by the horns and uh, had probably the best season of his career, that's for sure. I believe he got four in forms last year, uh, which does show how good of a season he had. And I think uh, an 86 rated it would be more than fair. We've then got Bender, I'm not sure which Bender brother this is, I believe it's Sven Bender. And, um, 82 rated is his current rating in FIFA. Only played 10 games, no goals and no assists. Typically it was Socrates and Bartra that did play uh, at the back for Dortmund. So someone like Bender didn't get too much opportunity. Only playing 10 games, meaning in my opinion he'll probably get downgraded two points to probably an 80 rated centre back. Whether he had a good season or a bad season, the fact that he didn't play too much indicates he will get a large downgrade. We then have got Mark Bartra, played 33 games, one goal and three assists. Um, again, for his first season at Borussia Dortmund, it was a very successful season in my opinion had a good season and I think he's definitely worthy of an 82 rated card next year on FIFA but then unfortunately got Mario Gertz so currently an 84 downgraded him to an 82 maybe an 82 could see in some eyes be seen as too harsh but you know for someone of Gertz's quality 24 games only two goals and two assists and obviously he did have uh, some personal problems at the end of the year which forced him to not play too much um, but I still think when he did play it just didn't look the same maybe that the fact that he did have uh, what he had at the end of the year maybe impacted on his performance throughout the year but it wasn't a good season for, for Gertz and I do believe unfortunately he'll go down to an 82. We've then got Shinji Kagura as well uh, again didn't have his best season 30 games six goals and eight assists not a terrible season um, but not a good season I still think he will get downgraded obviously it was an 83 and um, got a January downgrade to an 82 and I believe he will start FIFA 18 as an 81. We've then got Gonzalo Castro 82 rated central midfield. I believe he will stay as the same rating. Could potentially get an upgrade. I remember he did get an inform quite early on in FIFA, but then didn't really build on that. You know, we thought maybe that would be uh, his kickstarter for the season. It, it, his season then kind of petered out and uh, didn't really it didn't really catapult into anything better than it was. So I do believe he will stay as the same rating. We then got Sebastian Roda again, another guy that didn't really get too much opportunity to play. Kind of played a lot of bit part. You know, as a substitute, last sort of 10-15 minutes is why he, he did end up playing 21 games. Managed to score one goal, um, but I still think he will get downgraded. Obviously, Julian Weigel was the uh, the kind of up-and-coming youngster that uh, really played in that CDM holding midfield role. So that's why I believe that Rhoda is going to go down in rating. But on the flip side to that, that's why I think Julian Weigel will go up. Was a 79 CDM, did get a January upgrade to an 80 CDM. And I think he'll start FIFA 18 as an 81 CDM. Did kind of establish that CDM position as his own. And looked very technically very gifted on the ball. And uh, did have a very good season. I think this guy's got a very, very good future ahead of him. We've then got Nuri Shaheen. Again, the final CDM that Borussia Dortmund do have. 
80 rated is his current rating. You see, he only played 13 games, managed only one goal and one assist. So I do think he will go down to a 78 rating again, not playing too much. And when he did play, he didn't really grab his opportunities and kind of shine and give the manager a reason to keep him in the team. So that's why I think he will go down to a 78. Then got Marco Royce. This one is potentially the most controversial one. I've actually kept him as an 88. Now, some people may disagree with this. Obviously, Royce did have a lot of problems last year with injury. You know, spent quite a lot, probably about half the season out uh, with injuries, but still managed to get 13 goals and five assists in the 24 games that he did play. And for me, whilst that's obviously of an 88 rated, not the sort of goals and assists you'd expect from someone of Royce's caliber, but the fact that he only played 24 games to get those goals and assists, meaning I believe he should stay as the same rating. I've also changed him to a left winger. Um, I think if Royce does get fit, and hopefully he does get fit for next season and does get back into it, but I think he will stay as the same rating. I think Andre Schurler, currently an 81 rated left mid, downgraded him to an 80 rated left mid, 26 games, seven goals and two assists. Um, this one potentially is a bit of, you know, you never know, he could stay at the same rating, he could potentially stay as an 81. My opinion is that he'll go down to an 80. However, I could be wrong and he could stay as an 81. It wasn't the best season again for Schurler. Uh, I believe it was his first season last year as well at Borussia Dortmund. Didn't really impact into the team too much and kind of stamp his authority on the team. Even when Royce was out of the team injured, you know, Schurler still didn't really stamp his authority in the team and managed to keep himself in the team. So I think he will go down to an 80 rated. We then got Usman Dembele, currently an 80 rated right midfielder. Now remember, Dembele was a 77 rated right midfielder and did get a January upgrade to an 80 rated midfielder. Which is why maybe only a two point upgrade may seem harsh to some people. Um, but the fact that he's going to have gone from a 77 to an 82 in one season, I think that's probably going to be the right rating for him. But even so, 49 games, 10 goals, and 18 assists for a guy that's what I think he's 19, is he? That's pretty amazing stats for someone of that age. And an 82 rated right midfielder, a uh, right winger, will be an absolute beast card next year. We've then got Christian Pulisic, currently a 74 rated silver. He also did get quite a large January upgrade, was a 70 rated right mid, I believe, uh, and got January upgraded to a 74 right mid. So I'm going to upgrade him further to a gold card, making a 75 rated right midfielder. 42 games, 8 goals, and 8 assists was a good season for Pulisic. Um, obviously, not people didn't really expect too much from him, so the fact that he still managed 8 goals and 8 assists potentially could go higher than a 75, but I think that will be the right rating for him. Then we've got Aubameyang, currently an 87. Already done Aubameyang's rating before when he's been linked with other clubs. I think it was Man City and Liverpool. Um, upgraded him to an 89. 49 games, 43 goals and 3 assists. Aubameyang's future is kind of up in the air. You know, it doesn't know whether he's going to stay at Dortmund, whether he's going to move to the Premier League or maybe move to China. So it's unsure where he's going to stay. But I've done him as a Dortmund card. And if he stayed at Dortmund, be an 89 rated striker and he would be an absolute machine next year in FIFA. And then some new transfers that obviously happened for Dortmund recently. We've got Philip who moved from Freiburg to obviously to uh, Borussia Dortmund. Currently a uh, 76 upgraded him to a 78. 28 games, 9 goals and 2 assists. Had a decent season. The fact that I've given a 2 point upgrade is 1.4. The fact that he had a good season. And the other point, uh, the fact that he moved to a better and bigger club. Typically they want to make the players more appealing. So when they move to bigger clubs, they tend to give them an extra point upgrade. Which is what I've done with Philip in this occasion. Then we've got Omar Toprak, obviously moved from Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, Leverkusen didn't have a great season, I believe they finished 12th in the Bundesliga, so that would indicate that obviously their defence was not was one of the things that was quite weak last year, which indicates Toprak didn't have the best season. Now, normally, if he stayed at Leverkusen, I probably would have downgraded him to an 82, but as I said before, when he's moving to a, let's be honest, Dortmund is a bigger club than Leverkusen, it may save his rating and he may only move down to an 83. On the other hand, we've got De Hood, currently a 79 rated central midfielder, but did move, obviously has moved to Borussia Dortmund now, and uh, upgraded him to an 80 rated midfielder. Didn't think he had the best season in the world, um, but moving to Dortmund, I think that will give him definitely an upgrade. Potentially could upgrade to an 81 if you use the rule of law that I've used on the other players, but I think 80 rated would be the right rating for De Hood. And that is it for Borussia Dortmund's player reviews, guys, and their player ratings. Let me know what you think of these ratings in the comment section. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. That's all for today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.